Okay, mission accomplished. The first uh, dish I made was um, chicken adobo. That'll be in a different video. Because now I'm preparing to uh, cook our dinner. Uh, outside, the wind gust is 16 miles per hour and the temperature is dropping. So when my husband come home tonight, I will serve him a bowl of steaming lentil soup. I will be adding some of these greens. I have some kale and Swiss chards, which I picked earlier, probably about an hour or so ago, from my garden. The rest of the ingredients are sofrito, onion, garlic, butternut squash, which I have cubed, tomato sauce, chicken, homemade chicken broth. You who would like to keep it vegetarian, you could you can skip this part. This is smoked sausages, which I could do without myself, but my daughter is expecting her second child, which we are all excited about. And I am trying to encourage her to eat healthy, not just for her sake, but for the baby's sake as well, my grandchild. So, not too long ago, she had made a comment that, Mom, you cook a lot of vegetables. If you put some meat in it, I would eat more of it. <laughs> so, I will try to be sneaky, add some of this uh, smoked sausages for her, and I could simply let her enjoy it, and I could push it aside if I don't want it. Okay? So, salt and pepper. That's according to your taste. A little bit of olive oil to saute the ingredients. And let's get started. Let's start by adding about, uh, I would say about a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to add the garlic. Allow that to saute. Now, sofrito is a mixture of bell pepper, onion, garlic, and uh, cilantro, cilantro, and ahisi dulce. Some of these uh, ingredients are not easily found, but most of the people do without the ahisi dulce and the culantro. Cilantro is easier to find and the basic ingredients here are garlic, onion, and bell pepper. But as you can see, I'm using bell, uh, fresh garlic and onion because I want to really enhance the flavor of this soup. Okay. The liquid from the sofrito has evaporated. So now I'm going to push some of the ingredients aside and I am going to add the smoked sausages. Give it a little bit of time to render the fat and release its flavor. Now we are going to add some tomato sauce. I would say I will add about half a cup of tomato sauce. And I love the tomato sauce to stew a little bit. just to get rid of that raw tomato sauce flavor and I 
bring out the flavor of the rest of the ingredients. So we're gonna let this stew a little bit more. And now I'm going to add about this will all go in but I'm going to start with about uh, half a cup more or less of the chicken broth just to give the lentil some liquid to get started with. Added the lentil and mix it with the rest of the ingredients mm, smells so good already that smoked sausages gave me a very smoky aroma makes you think you have put bacon in it which you did not now I'm going to add the rest of the chicken broth so that's about three cups of water I added in here and I'm going to allow that to come to a boil again put a cover on it and I have it on number two Let's see how the let's see how the lentils are. Soon as the lentils are tender, I will be adding the butternut squash. So let's see. Mmm. Now I could add the butternut squash. Now remember, I did not add too much salt and pepper in here yet, so I know. Okay. Time to check the butternut squash. And then we'll see how soft it is oh yeah there it is it's nice and soft I could now add the greens yes I know it looks like it's a lot of greens but it's going to wilt and it'll be just the right amount This will be a nice hearty soup for this cold weather. Okay, now put that on low. Allow it to simmer a little more. Uh, put it at number two. Let it uh, simmer. Are very low we are going to taste this for salt and pepper and it could use some salt I would say I'm putting about a teaspoon. It's about a teaspoon. Mm. 
doesn't take long for the greens to cook as they are very tender let's see how the salt now oh wow it's so good just a little more of pepper just a probably not even a quarter of a teaspoon just a little bit a little dash of it and this lentil soup is ready to go absolutely delicious now I'm hungry <laughs> Try this recipe, it is absolutely delicious.